Hi, welcome to another video in this series on the Raspberry Pi. This is the second episode of the series and this video is going to be about the setup of the Raspberry Pi for our use. Let's go. In the previous video, we talked about the main parts of a Raspberry Pi board. These are the power supply, HDMI connectors, the I.O. ports, the Ethernet connector and then finally we saw the 40 pin GPIO connector in a little bit more detail than the others. We also talked about the most important milestones in the almost decade long history of the Raspberry Pi. We saw how over the years the Raspberry Pi has gone from strength to strength and how 2021 will be a landmark year for them since they launched their first microcontroller based boards called the Pico. We will have a separate series for the Pico. Do subscribe to the channel to get the video notifications as soon as they drop. We now have a Raspberry Pi and a micro SD card. We are all set to go. But wait, what do we do with the SD card? Let us find out. We will now generate an SD card image for my Raspberry Pi. I have already plugged in the SD card into my computer. We will first go to the Raspberry Pi website. On this site, we hover our mouse over software and then click on Raspberry Pi OS. Here you can see all the OS images that are compatible with Raspberry Pi models, all of them. When you scroll down, you will see you also have the Raspberry Pi desktop that can run on your PC or Mac. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Today, to generate the SD card, we will use the simplest method. We will use a tool called the Raspberry Pi Imager. The Raspberry Pi Imager is a very simple tool to make an SD card for your Pi. The first step is to download the correct installer for your computer's OS. My OS is a Mac, so I will download for Mac OS. We click on save file. Alright, the download is now done. We just have to install that now. Let us do that quickly. The imager is now installed. We will now open the Raspberry Pi imager. We are almost there now. The first step is to select the OS image that we want to make an SD card image of. So you click on choose OS. Note that in order to save time, I had already downloaded the 32-bit Raspberry Pi image before and hence it is cached on my computer. However, if this is the first time you are running the imager, the time taken to make the SD card image may be longer. But it is not a problem, let it take its time. And it happens only the first time. So any subsequent SD card images will be made very fast. So we click on the Raspberry Pi OS 32 bit. Next is we choose storage. So now we select the SD card that is plugged into my computer. That's it. We just click right now. It says all existing data will be erased. Are you sure you want to continue? As soon as you click yes, the writing process starts. And that's it. We just wait for the SD card image to be made. All right, so we are done with almost 80%, in fact, more than 80% of the image. So just a few more seconds to go now. The image has now been written. The software will quickly verify if the image has been correctly written into the SD card. This is it. Our SD card is ready. Let us plug it into the Pi and set it up for our use. That's how simple. The good folks at Raspberry Pi have made it for us to start development on the Pi. Just amazing, isn't it? All that is left for us to do now is to insert the micro SD card into the slot on our Raspberry Pi. So what happens when you do this for the very first time? Let us quickly check out the very first boot of a Raspberry Pi.
Well that's it. The setup for a Raspberry Pi is as simple as that. In the coming videos, we will build on this setup and do some cool things with the Raspberry Pi. See you, See you soon with a brand new video about the world's favorite computer. Bye.